Hey guys, Coach Tolbert here. Just wanted to make a video for Tuesday's strength programming. Uh, we're starting off with some pause bench work. So nothing too fancy here. Again, if you're on a bench, great. If you're on the floor, awesome. We're going to do a pause bench today. So dumbbell or barbell, kettlebell, doesn't matter. All that really is going to be important, we're pausing two seconds at the bottom of this limb. Remember for the bench too, guys, you do want a little bit of a gap between you and the floor or the bench. So think about kind of tucking your butt up, pinning your shoulders back, right? Take it down, one 1,000, two 1,000, and then explode up. Try not to let your shoulders shrug on these. Keep those shoulders pinned down, pause, and drive through, okay? Uh, next is going to be the little overhead circuit. So ideally, you'll have a kettlebell and a dumbbell. So kettlebell will be in this front rack. Remember, notice this front rack. I'm not like this, I'm not like this. Not holding it behind me, I'm holding it like I would a barbell, right? Elbows slightly up, knuckles to my chin. Dumbbell, my opposite hand, 10 presses. Now, my 10th press, I'll do a 50 foot walk. Okay, if I don't have this, I can just do this with the dumbbell or kettlebell that I'm pressing. 10 reps, and I'll walk, maybe another dumbbell here, up to you. Okay, so 10, walk, switch arms, 10, walk back, and that's one of the three circuits there. Um, and then next up, a pen lay row or a single arm row. So if you're using a bar for the pen lay row, all that's going to be different here is we're going to make contact with the floor and we are pausing five seconds at the top. So imagine there's weights on the end here. I'll be bent over. Bar is touching the floor with the weights. I'm going to row. One, two, three, four, five, return, come back up, okay? So we are making contact with the ground. Again, we want to avoid any sort of jerking motions. I want to think flat back, 90 degrees with, or sorry, perpendicular with the floor here. Row, hold, touch, row, hold, and touch, okay? I'm doing uh, dumbbell or kettlebell, same idea. I can brace up against them something, right? Bracing back flat, row, hold for five seconds, then return five seconds at the bottom, pull, and return, okay? Make sure you stick with that um, five-second tempo there, very, very important. And the final movement is that overhead tricep extension, so we've seen this before, right? Behind our head, single dumbbell or kettlebell, pressing overhead. If you really want to, you can have an opposite two dumbbells and press overhead, but ideally we're just sticking to one. Nice, good extension on the way. Cool, so that's Tuesday's work. Hope you enjoy it.